we're going to introduce the probability mass function or PMF through an example. So here's our example. We're trying to calculate the number of heads flipped on two coins and we're going to find some probabilities associated with it. So we have different outcomes. Tails, 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 heads, heads, tails, and heads, heads. So let's say we get our random variable x and we call this the number of heads. What we can do is we can ask ourselves what different values we can have. So here in this case, we're either gonna have zero, one, or two. Now each of these will have a probability associated with it. So what we can say is that the PMF, so the probability of zero happening, is going to be the probability where our discrete random variable is equal to zero. And this is going to be the probability of all the events where we have zero heads, you know, relative to the entire sample space. So in other words, we have a case where we have tails, tails. So that's the cardinality of that divided by the cardinality or number of all of the things that we could have in our sample space. So uh, tails, 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 heads, heads, tails, and heads, heads. So if we take a look at that, it was one way to have zero heads. And there's four ways to do things totally. So the probability of zero here would be 0.25. So this is an example of a PMF for a specific value. So from this, we can just sort of write how many heads each one has. So 0, 1, 1, 2, and we can put them into a little chart. So we have our x, which is our number of heads, and we'll draw a little line to make this nice. So either zero heads, one heads, or two heads, and then we're gonna have a probability for that x. So the probability of zero heads, there's only, there's only gonna be one way to do this. So this would be 0.25. The probability of having just one head, there's two ways out of four to do this. We're gonna get 0.5. And for two heads, there's only one way out of four to do this. We'll get 0.25. So this is our EMF for our discrete random variable. This is in a nice little tableau form. So let's take a look at some variations that we can be asked when it comes to PMFs and think about different ways that we can ask about it. So imagine we have a random variable where x can be 0 through 5, any of those integers. And we're asked to find the probability that x is greater than 2. What we're really saying here is that we want the probability for p of x equals 3 or the probability of x equals 4 or the probability of x is equal to 5. In other words, we're going to add those three values together. We could also be thinking of it as 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. And why do we have one here? Well, what we're going to find is that with our probabilities, just like with sample spaces, if we take the probability of x and we take all of those together, we're going to get that it's equal to one. So we can just subtract one minus x less than or equal to two. So that would be another way of thinking about it. If we ask what is the probability that x is less than two, here we're looking for the case where x equals 0 or uh, x equals 1. And we could think about this in a similar way to the first one. This could just be equal to 1 minus the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3, which is the same thing as saying um, it should not be equal. It should be minus. Let's not erase everything there. This could be the same thing as saying one minus the probability that x is greater than two. Now, what if we're asked if x is between two and five? This would be the probability that x equals three or x equals four. So we would be adding those two together. Now, these less than or less than or equal to signs are important because remember, these are discrete. So if we're not including two, this means we're starting at three, and if we're not including five, that means we're going to four. 
but we can only pick our integers here. This is how we're getting these values in these cases. So let's do a practice problem. Let's say 45% of tune-ups are done on four cylinders, 40% on six cylinders, and 15% on eight cylinders, and we're letting x equal the number of cylinders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a chart first. So we have x and we're going to have p of x. So if it has four cylinders, it's a 0.45% chance or 45% chance. If it's six, it's going to be 0 0.40. And if it's eight, it's going to be 0.15. So what is the PMF of x? Well, we've just written it on the side in terms of a chart. Instead of writing it horizontally, I wrote it vertically, but it's the same thing. So what is the probability that x is greater than four? In other words, what we're going to do is we're going to add the probability that x is equal to six plus the probability that x is equal to eight because we're not including four. So this is going to be 0.40 plus 0.15 which gives us a value of 0.55. What if we have the probability where x is greater than six? Well, this is only going to be the case where x is equal to eight, because that's the number of cylinders we're looking for that's greater than six that we have values for. So this would just be equal to 0.15. So these problems are not too bad when we start out. But let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated. So here we're defining a PMF using a function. We're saying PY is equal to KY, where Y is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we're asked to find the value of K and then to find some probabilities. So this one is a little bit more challenging because there's something you need to remember. And that is that the sum of all of our probabilities is going to equal one. So we can set an equation here. We can say one is going to be equal to k, and then we're gonna put y equals one in there, plus k times two, so I'm gonna put the numbers out front, two k plus three k plus four k plus five k. Now, why am I doing this? I'm simply taking ky and I'm substituting uh, y in for each of those values, one, two, three, four, and five. And we know that the sum of those over our PMF will equal one. So one is going to be equal to 15k if we add them up, which means that k is going to be equal to 1 15th. So what we could do is we could set up our probability mass function in a tabular form. So y is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we know that the probability of y is just equal to k times y. So if y is 1 and k is 1 15th, we're going to get 1 15th. If y is 2 and k is 1 15th, we're going to get 2 15ths, then 3 15ths, then 4 15ths, and then 5 15ths. So I'm not gonna turn these into decimals because that's just a little bit more work. So what is the probability that y is less than four? So the probability that y is less than four is going to be equal to the probability that y equals one plus the probability that y equals two plus the probability that y is equal to three. And this is going to give us, according to our chart, 1 15th plus 2 15th plus 3 15th, which just gives us a total of 6 15th. And this one has a nice number that we can use, so this would be 0 0.40. Now we ask, what is the probability that y is between 1 and 5? So we're looking for the probability where y is between 1 and 5. So in this case, we're looking at the probability that y is equal to 2 plus the probability that y is equal to three, plus the probability that y is equal to four, and we're not including one and five here. So this would be the same thing as saying two fifteenths plus three fifteenths plus four fifteenths. So two plus three plus four is going to give us nine. 
we have 9 fifteenths. This also gives us a nice number. So this would be 0 0.60. So this is all the questions I had for today, but this is the basics of PMFs. Usually the questions that you have to do are more so about figuring out what the problem is asking in terms of turning a word problem into a PMF. But if you're given the chart, these problems are usually quite straightforward as long as you remember what exactly is asking for and remember those little things with the less than sign versus the less than or equals to sign. So if you have any questions, you know what to do.